realize that, you know, be, be prepared for the for the unexpected, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not saying that it will happen, but I mean, it's a possibility that it might happen, that you, we might get some damage equipment. I mean, it already happened at the last show where, you know, we had a band come up to us and give us shit for their equipment, you know. That got fucked up. See, but I mean, not- we, told him, we told him, you know, beforehand, yeah. you know, you play behind the drummer, you know, be safe, you know. You're gonna be heard, your mic. But they don't want to listen. They wanted to be in front of the band, and they ended up getting their equipment fucked up. Okay. I mean, our hearts go out to them, but that's what I'm trying to say: is that expect the unexpected. I mean, we could always prepare as far as the show goes. I mean, right now, we're we're looking for a spot. Aspect to getting a location um, during a show. Um, we we we're, we're in constant struggle with with other productions, other bands that throw shows, and uh, a lot of them are really sneaky. And well, I mean, it's already twice it's happened to us where we hyped up a spot, and at the last second they just pull the rug right out under us. Mm. Now, is the show? I know it's an equal parts uh, supporting your your own band and uh, a production, your Boogie's production or Boogie Loke's production. Right, right. Now, uh, for you, what is it more about? Uh, just getting the word out and getting people to come to a, a, a gig that uh, will promise to be fun. Okay. Yeah. And this uh, show? Road to catastrophe. Road to <laughs> Catastrophe. It's quite the <laughs> tongue twister. A little bit. Um, yeah, it wasn't my it wasn't my decision, but I ultimately affirmed it mm-hmm. with uh, Boogie. All right. And we spoke about it before, and you mentioned that you plan on it being an annual event. Yeah, we plan on it being an annual event. Um, but if we're gonna be having this much trouble finding a location, it might prove troublesome. Boogie, I mean, mm-hmm. we just gotta keep trying. Yes, that's right. Los Alcoleados have quite a following, so I'm just assuming anywhere you'd go, I'm assuming you'd bring a few 20 to 30 people with you. Oh, well, that'd be nice. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, that's the crowd we're left with at the end of a show, anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> You'll take the scraps. We'll take the scraps. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, like, uh, we recently come back from a, a, a long hiatus. How long of a hiatus? Is it? About maybe almost three years. Now, did you come in guns blazing, or you're kind of settling in again? Yeah, we we kind of just came in guns blazing. We didn't we didn't have any time to be going into anything half cocked. Uh, <laughs> we we really wanted to come back with the bang and. Sure enough, I feel I feel like we did. Um, the last couple of shows that we played are been actually pretty good. The crowd have been very responsive. And, okay. You know, supportive. Yeah. That. And I I appreciate that. <laughs> now, in the production aspect of this, is this more for the love of music and? giving it the quality of sign it deserves at a backyard show or for profit it's definitely not for profit but i mean the profit aspect of the whole thing does help 
Okay. It, it helps us uh, buy better equipment. It helps us secure more locations. I mean, you know, I, I don't. I don't need to tell you that you know how how a backyard show works, and as far as like, you need to have a good little nest egg to rent a backyard or rent a lot, whatever. And usually these things will go from four hundred to two thousand dollars, depending on this place and depending on the person. I know. I've, I mean, we've all had, we've all been to those backyard shows. Your average backyard show, uh, you know, somebody's missing some sort of instrument. Somebody's, uh, you know, last minute they need help from from another band. You know, sharing equipment, whatever. Right. Uh, do you guys ever come across these issues in the shows you guys are hosting, and you have a way to solve it or work with them? Uh, yeah, yeah, we've run into those problems a couple of times before in the past. Um, where a, a band is missing a guitar or a bass and it's, it's sometimes an inconvenience and sometimes a little bit troublesome but I mean in the end well, we'll let them borrow our equipment uh, whether it be you know Rudy's bass or guitar uh, Nesto's guitar you know Boogie's drums you yeah. know, it's solely upon request and if, if requested you know we'll do our best I know there is sort of like a uh unwritten unspoken bond between backyard musicians where it sometimes doesn't really come as a uh, it's, uh, it doesn't really bother you to let another band another band borrow an instrument or so simply for the love of music or you know well uh, it, it would be nice to think that way in a perfect world we <laughs> we're all kumbayaing and like no yeah hey, you forget your guitar here take mine but no a lot of the times you know other bands can be assholes. <laughs> like they could be really fucking petty. Um, uh, I'm sorry. Like, can I cuss? I don't know. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah, like they could be really, really petty, and be like, "No, you can't use our equipment. What the hell? Like, <laughs> you should have thought of this beforehand. Like, yeah, I was planning for my equipment to get stolen. <laughs> Thank you." <laughs> But yeah, I mean, like, yeah, a lot of a lot of bands should should have that mentality. It's like, yeah, borrow it, just you know, return it in the same condition as I gave it. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, not not a lot of not a lot of uh, individuals uh, <laughs> share the same ideology. Alright. And for the for the shows you throw, you let them know up front. There's no type of insurance. You know, you're not gonna cover any loss or damage items. Not all the time. Um, but it's kind of given for these types of events, right? It's sort of a given. Yeah, not, not all the time. But I mean, like, we, we will on occasion let them know, like, oh, look, man, you're responsible for your own equipment. Uh, we're not going to compensate you for any damaged goods. I mean, we should always be upfront about it, but I mean, we can't always be upfront about it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's self-implied. I mean, like, you're at a punk show. You're at a punk ska show. You're gonna... You're gonna encounter people getting in your face. It's it's gonna be raw. It's gonna be gritty. Yeah. You know? Like, you've been to a show before. It's, it should be nothing new to you. Of course, man. But, I mean, like, a lot of people, I guess, feel entitled to... Um, to... Uh, special treatment I guess and I just don't see it that way 